What's going on fellas? Today I'm going to show you how to overcome this problem. A lot of people have come to me on Discord. Can you check this? Can you fix that? Can you fix that? And this is one of the rare ones that I usually never had to face. So I'm going to show you how to overcome this. There are a few steps. I've researched a lot. We fixed the problem. The fella is fine. So first things first. Now when you get this, eventually your 178, let's say 173, whatever your CSP version is, you click on the 179 to upgrade and you get this message. Basically what happens is, let me showcase uh, real quick. So I was playing a bit. So we go to settings, we go to about an updates custom shader patch. Let's say I'm on the latest version, right? Let's say I'm here 173, right? So and uh, what happens now is, let's say I click on 179, so I click, but instead of loading, for me it's loading normally, but instead of the, the thing loading, I will get this error and it will pop right here on the version. So how you fix this? Very simple, fellas. I'll show you. So we're going to start. And um, please do not skip the video. You need to know the details and you need to know how and why. First things first, because we're going to use custom shader patch right here. I prepared two versions. Uh, and we'll have to install it. Please use WinRAR. A lot of you don't know what WinRAR is. It's archiving uh, pro program, so we need it to open the archives so you can do it exactly one-on-one -on -one like I do. So to get WinRAR, you go to this link. All the links will be down in the description. You click on the download. It will download. So you get on the download. You open the folder. You run it. You click yes. And you just, uh, after uh, you click yes, it's a very small program, so don't think where to install it. Just click yes, install that thing, click OK, nothing to worry about, that's it. When this pops up, close it. Now, after we have WinRAR out of the way, you close this and we go here on Custom Shaders Patch. Now, we, before we even continue with Custom Shader Patch, we'll have to do something else. But let me show you something very interesting that a lot of you might not know to run custom shaders patch you need visual c plus plus redistributable so now before that and of course the set of corsa but before we go and download these versions right here we'll jump into this website again link down in the description fellas so once you've opened the link now what i want you is we need this visual distribution to launch the custom shader patch and all the graphical stuff you're going to download this. You're going to select whatever server you want, honestly, whatever your country is closest to you. So I guess I'll select the German one because I believe it's closest to me. You see, it's 95 megabytes. You might have to wait a bit, so it doesn't matter. Now I have it uh, downloaded right here. So what we're going to do, fellas, I'm going to drag this actually on my desktop uh, just for the sake, because I don't know if the files are in a folder or not. I'm going to drag this folder right here. Now I'm going to extract here this in this folder. I'll try to go slower. Sorry for that. Uh, I do know some of you uh, are going. Now you have all these till from 2005 to 2022. All these C++ distributionable. So we're going to run the install bat and it's going to install absolutely all the packages. And don't worry, if it gives you error or something, it means you have them. Now it's going to ask you, do you allow this application to make changes to your device? You click yes. Now I see that my OBS went black, but don't worry. If it asks you to allow, you allow it. Click yes. Now I'm going to wait for all the packages to be. Now it's going to ask me again. I click yes. Whatever, whatever it asks you, just click yes. It's probably all the... It literally goes through all the redistribution packages, so you have to allow uh, everything. Now, you see, it's no stop asking me about stuff, so yes, yes. Oh, <clears throat> again, yes. So, once it, there we go. 2015, and I believe this might be the last one. This could be the last one. One more time. Actually, gonna stop the desktop sounds because it could probably mess my mic. I, I completely forgot to stop the desktop sounds because it's probably messing up my mic. Now, we've installed all the distributionables. 
Now, with all the redistributionables out of the way, fellas, I want you to close this and now we go to the custom shader patch. Now what we're gonna do is, you're gonna check what is the latest version for you. By the time you watch this video, there might be newer ones, so you get the latest one. You see here, it shows the latest. So for us, at the moment, latest is 179. So you're gonna download this 179, 179, sorry. Click download right here, and you see it's downloading already. I, Anyways, I do have it already here on the desktop, so what I'm gonna do is this 179. I'm gonna open it. All I want you to do is to open a Seto Corsa root folder so uh close this thing that pops up your Assetto Corsa root folder is located in steam steam apps come on Assetto Corsa if you don't know how to find it you get lost don't worry the easiest way is to open your steam go to library find Assetto Corsa click properties go to local files and click browse and when you click browse come on it opens yeah it, it opened a new folder you see it, it, it literally opened your root folder so that's that now, having out of the way how to find your set of course root folder, how you install the custom shaders patch version manually, you grab these two files and you drag and drop and you place them here on the empty space. I've seen a lot of people, especially on Soul, when they install Soul, I, uh, they say my Soul is not working, they drop it here. Do not drop it, it's gonna drop it in the folders. Don't do that mistake. Drop it here in the empty space, that means you guarantee that it's gonna drop here on this folder so it's gonna take a while if it asks you to replace you click replace now wait all right everything seems fine now what you do you see 179 i can even restart my content manager you'll see again we've upgraded to 179 see fellas that's how you install custom shader patch manually now because we've upgraded to 179 what we're gonna do is the same way with the paid version this is the paid version you can watch my videos how to get the csp watch my new csp videos the updates you grab again these two files and you drag and drop them in the set of course root folder so we're gonna wait a bit ask you to replace again click replace Waiting a bit, placing. Let's open now Content Manager. Waiting to load. Boom, voila, 180 preview, everything's fine. But, there is but. Let me change real quick. Let me change my graphics so you can see because I can uh, share one screen. Let's see real quick, boom. Now, a lot of the, and we're gonna run this track here. So we're gonna practice, yeah. We're gonna click go now of the issues what i see right here on the bottom right you will see the version of the game so what we what happened uh, even before when we installed you can see i've already went in the game so usually what happens fellas is that if we go right here when at the beginning when you had this issue with the custom shader patch the guy will install 178 he go or we even install 179, but we install with Content Manager. Let's say it worked. We go in game, but down on the bottom right, down on the bottom right, what we saw is that even if he tries to install with Content Manager, he was showing the older version. So Content Manager basically didn't install anything, didn't do anything. So that's that on how to overcome this problem. I hope this helped you. Please like and subscribe. I will be posting almost anything I know about Acero Corsa, all the bugs as well now, and I will try to drive as much as possible because there will be a lot of guides coming in. So I'll try to post a lot of drive videos, and as well, I'll try to help you as much as possible overcome these problems. So that's that for me, fellas. Like and subscribe, share this video to friends that had this issue, Join my Discord. I help on a daily basis. We have chit chat. We have fun. There's uh, new fun stuff. People that share songs. You can see right here. There's a new uh, new mod by Darkis. If uh, you're curious, there's song releases, some funk stuff that people are making. There's a new car by Darkis, and there's a new car just being made. New drift car. So this is the new car. So that's that, fellas. We show the best. I will see you in the next video.